the blockade of Wonsan, or the siege of Wonsan, from February 16, 1951 to July 27, 1953, during the Korean War, was the longest naval blockade in modern history, lasting 861 days. UN naval forces, primarily from the United States, successfully kept the strategically important city of Wonsan from being used by the North Korean Navy. The blockade also served to divert communist troops from the front line. North Korean resistance used artillery to oppose the American fleet, although this was mostly ineffective, and the city was heavily damaged by UN naval aircraft and warships. Background Operation Wonsan Wonsan was a strategic point during the war, located on North Korea's southeastern coast with a large harbor, an airfield, a petroleum refinery, 75,000 people, and as many as 80,000 troops, including several artillery batteries. After the Battle of Incheon, in which General Douglas MacArthur landed on the northwestern shores of the Korean Peninsula, he ordered 10th Corps to make a landing at Wonsan where they would proceed west, link up with the 8th Army and then advance towards Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. North Korean naval forces had been well supplied by the Soviet Union and China with all sorts of sea mines and they were used as much as possible to defend Wonsan. Soviet military advisors were also employed to create more effective minefields. One of the first objectives of the blockade was to begin plotting the locations of mines and then destroy them. Because of this, the use of minesweepers became a necessity and eventually dozens would serve in the blockade. Operation Wonsan, or the clearance of Wonsan, began on October 10, 1950, ten days before the landing was scheduled to take place. Rear Admiral James H. Doyle commanded Task Force 90, a fleet of dozens of American warships which were used in the clearance. Two days later on October 12, mines sank the sweepers us pledge and us pirate, killing 12 men and wounding dozens of others, all while under accurate fire from North Korean shore batteries. The United States Navy Pacific Fleet responded by starting the production of new mines sweepers in the largest shipbuilding program since World War II. Other vessels were damaged by mines and battery fire as well but the loss of the pirate and pledge proved to be the major engagement during the Operation. Operation Tailboard. Operation Tailboard was the code name for the United States Army landing at Wonsan, and it was found to have been unnecessary. Preparations began over 800 miles away at Incheon where on October 15, thousands of Marines and soldiers, 30,184 in total, embarked transports to participate in the landing. When they arrived off Wonsan on October 20, the clearance of the minefields was still taking place so for five days 10th Corps and the 1st Marine Division were forced to remain on ship to wait for a clear path to the beaches. When it came time to land on October 25th the North Koreans had already withdrawn and the British and South Koreans were securing the area. Ultimately, the landing was not needed and MacArthur was criticized for not using the 10th Corps in the pursuit of the retreating North Korean army on the Incheon Front. On October 19, the South Korean army captured Pyongyang so instead of heading there the American army went north along the coast to occupy Hungnam and the chosen reservoir areas while the 3rd Infantry Division landed at Wonsan in November as reinforcements. Evacuation of Wonsan UN forces would not hold Wonsan for long. After the massive Chinese intervention in the war, Allied forces were ordered to evacuate Wonsan on December 9, 1950, taking 7,009 refugees, 3,384 military personnel, 1,146 vehicles and 10,013 tons of cargo in the process. General MacArthur's plan 
was to regroup in Japan before launching another offensive, while holding Pusan perimeter. When the North Koreans and Chinese recaptured the city, defenses were rebuilt in a more formidable way. Additional sea mines were deployed and new artillery batteries were erected.